Greetings, Dr. Carroll and colleagues. This video presentation will be on black psychology. My presentation partner is Michelle Welk, and I am John Turner. In order for Pan-African Studies to be accepted as an accredited source in understanding people of color in America and other areas, one must understand the full scope of this field. A full comprehension of Pan-African Studies implies that one is knowledgeable in all of its areas of specialization. Appropriately, this video presentation's discussion entails a thorough investigation of one such area, which is black psychology. As a Pan-African Studies subdiscipline, black psychology represents people of color in America and other areas that endure an African diaspora. The aim is to employ past African cultural experiences as a framework for comprehending African or black circumstances within society today. In other words, Black psychology is a specialized area within Pan-African studies for which the African or black community is its subject. Psychological concepts are used in the study and explanation of the hows and whys of African or black people's present societal situations. Furthermore, one's adequate comprehension of black psychology implies that the scholar is knowledgeable in its numerous areas of inquiry, which are how to define the field what is the role of the African worldview at its foundation and its manifestation within black psychology, the importance of black psychology to the African or black community, and how black psychology manifests in and among the African or black community. As a result of this video presentation, the scholar's conceptualization of black psychology will effectuate and supplement his or her validation of Pan-African studies as a whole. Within our discussion, black psychology will be construed as an academic area concerned with updating today's psychological concepts and paradigms and maintaining new models that are beneficial to African or black people. As markedly argued within black studies or African American studies, if you will, racism has been institutionalized into education. From, from an Afrocentric viewpoint, the effectual hindrance of Educational racism on black psychology is a threefold process. As discussed by Dr. Milana Karanga in Introduction to Black Studies, black psychology may be construed as a, accomplishing this aim through the threefold process of its rejection of the mythology conclusions and ideological assumptions of Eurocentric psychology or traditional psychology the dissemination of Afrocentric models of study prevention and treatment, and an emphasis on social responsibility in achieving and ensuring conditions of well-being and wholeness for African people and other people of color. Instead, black psychology will base its mythology, conclusions, and ideological assumptions on a historically African cultural worldview. Moreover, the importance of black psychology to African or black people lies in that the current psychological, economic, and political status of people of color in America and other areas will be at the forefront of significant topics to be discussed within Pan-African studies. Though black psychology is concerned with updating the static psychological ideas maintained by traditional psychology to benefit African or black people and other people of color, it is important to be more descriptive, to dismiss any potential criticism. In discussion of the full scope of black psychology, Dr. Wade Nobles would add, black psychology is more than the psychology of the underprivileged, the ghettoized, or the enslaved, and more than the darker dimension of general psychology. In a word, its unique status is not derived from the negative aspect of being black and white America, but rather from the positive features of basic African philosophy, which dictates the values, customs, attitudes, and behavior of Africans in Africa and the New World. Dr. Milana Karanga expounds that black psychology exists to progress black people into self-conscious agents in control of their own mental, emotional, and social liberation. 
So not only does black psychology represent African or black people politically from within academia, but it also maintains another goal, which is to advance their socioeconomic and political circumstances. An emphasis on social responsibility, among several other signifiers, demonstrates the role of an African worldview as the foundation for black psychology. Ultimately, African or black people's progression towards social, mental, and emotional liberation entails a radical reconstruction of their consciousness. Black psychologists' responsibility to achieve this aim runs parallel and supplements the Kawada paradigm concerning the need for a proactive and positive ethos among people of color in America and other areas. In Kawada philosophy, ethos may be conceptualized as a sum of positive aspects of a people which distinguish it from others and gives it its collective consciousness. In addition, the African worldview manifests as the holistic approach of black psychology, which represents people of color in America and other areas. In traditional African culture, one's individualism was based on his or her collective group consciousness. Subsequently, the interrelated emphasis on social responsibility within black psychology today is based on this tribal cultural concept, which is known as the extended self. As a final point, the African worldview is manifested through the aim of black psychology to employ past African cultural experiences as a framework for comprehending African or black circumstances within society today. In the journal article, Black Psychology, an avenue to the study of Afro-Americans, Dr. Naam Akbar, who is a notable figure in the field of black psychology, is cited for his parallel concept of psycho-historical analysis. Dr. Akbar suggests that black psychology should adopt this approach in the study of human behavior. Uh, this is reflected as the uh, the psycho-historical analysis as using the past cultural concepts in the study of the emphasized group today. So that's the connection between the two points. To reiterate the importance of black psychology to the African or black community, in addition to how this was implicated above, further discussion is necessary to demonstrate its manifestation in and among this population. Black psychology is manifested through African or black people's increased vigor to transcend their present mental, emotional, and societal circumstances. In discussion of the first of two contentions, black psychology manifests as one reevaluation re re of self, which is their reconstruction of consciousness, in that its African uh, worldview stimulates his or her self efficacy. As mentioned earlier, the role of the African framework within black psychology is to dictate the positive aspects of African philosophy. One's belief about his or her capabilities, that is the concept of self-efficacy, are influenced by knowledge that is based on past achievements. The connection between the African worldview and one's self-efficacy is made apparent by the notion that a culture's ethos is produced by its achievements. Furthermore, through the culture's inquiry to know its ethos, it achieves. In other words, one's self-efficacy is influenced by his or her ethos because it will serve as a guideline of capabilities. Last but not least, black psychology is manifested in and among the African or black community through the actions of its Pan-African Studies psychologists as discussed by Dr. Milana Karenga in Introduction to Black Studies, Black Psychology emphasizes social responsibility among its other aims. For people of color in America and other areas who endure an African diaspora, thus, the fundamental task of these psychologists may be construed as instructive intervention. This concept describes Black Psychology scholars development and perpetuation of Afrocentric paradigms that will enable African people and people of color to receive increased socio-political power. Uh, in discussion of the rest of the questions that were uh, asked 
for the PowerPoint presentation. Uh, these will be attached as a additional document and also they will be uh, stated explicitly within the uh, PowerPoint presentation. Thank you.